Good morning, it's Monday, February 21st, and it's President's Day. Um, which doesn't mean much for most of the people I hang out with since school's still in session if you're in college, and work still goes on, and so it's President's Day, and it's Wash's birthday, so Wash, if you ever watch these, happy birthday. And, um, well, to catch you up on this past week, um, I got a response from the positions in Largo. I'm not experienced enough. Um, I got a response from the University of Illinois as far as getting into their PhD program. Uh, I'm not qualified enough. Um... It's kind of been one of those weeks where it just really gets you down. The glass is really half empty right now, and that's kind of hard to overcome. Um, right now. But I do have gumbies, and I worked a lot last week, and this week I'm working a lot. Um, I work tonight and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Sunday. So yay, lots of money, but boo, being tired? I'm gonna be so tired because I work to rush, normally, which is around eight, nine, ten o'clock. So you think five to 10, that's not bad, right? Right. Except, last week, Wednesday, rush, I got to go home at 2.30 in the morning. Thursday, also supposed to work till rush, I work till 1.30 in the morning. So, yes, it's more money. I'm not complaining about more money, I'm not complaining about getting more hours, it's just tiring. And when you're at work till 2.30 in the morning, then you just want to sleep all day, and then you have to get up and do it again, and again, and again, and I'm gonna wind up being, like, nocturnal by the end of this week, possibly, because I'm just gonna be out late so much. Yesterday I went to the zoo with Marshall and Brad, so I will include a clip of Marshall feeding the birds. Here it is. Hi. Hey, bud. I've had the poop on me before while doing this stuff. This really weird dream last night where both Vlogbrothers, John and Hank Green, lived in Tampa. Um, there is this weird road that you drive and you pass this farm where Hank grows some well, he calls it the farm, but it's really just this really small plot of land that he's growing food on. Um, but I didn't know that till later. So you f take this road and you keep driving, and um, it gets you to a house. Like, there are other houses, but whatever. You get to... I don't know which house. Like, I think I got to John's house. And... In the backyard, there's a fence, and on the other side of the fence is Hank's house. Uh, but no one knows this because the roads they live on are different names, and they don't let anyone know that they share a fence. So it was really weird, that in and of itself, plus the fact that they were in Tampa. But we were celebrating Henry's birthday, which is John's son, and um, I was working at Gumby's, but we had worked something out that they'd get this free pizza and they wanted me to stay there for the party so I was staying and not going back to work but then we were playing this weird game that you needed y you got items um, that I think we were gonna like make a a meal out of I don't know um, but we were missing some and so they asked me and I took someone else to go to the farm and get these big red peppers. Well, 
we get there and we've forgotten exactly what they look like and Hank didn't tell us where in the garden thing they were so we're wandering around looking and then there's this thing you have to go under under like this tree so we're in there and there are these huge slabs of meat that he's like drying out or something I don't know um, but there's stuff on top of it to keep bugs and animals from getting at it. I don't know why they couldn't just crawl under like we could, but whatever. Um, but I get like covered in this gigantic meat slab, juices or whatever, and crawl back out and things are attacking me. Like bugs are, are biting me because I smell like this meat that they've been trying to get at. So there are sponges in the garden to clean the juices off and we had to call Hank because whoever it was I brought with me uh, wasn't doing a very good job of helping me get the juices off. I don't know. It was really weird but um, cool that I got to hang out with them in my dream I guess. Um, minus the whole getting stabbed by mosquitoes and stuff. I don't know why mosquitoes want giant slabs of what look like bacon, but you know, giant slabs of bacon, like people-sized slabs of bacon, I could see why people would want giant slabs of bacon. I for some positions at the University of South Florida's library um, that are open, and I'm really hoping that I'll get those, because um, that would be great. I What I need is a library to look at my application and say she doesn't have the experience we want but we're willing to give her a chance. All I need is one library to say that and then I will have experience for other possible jobs. But understandably no one wants to be the library that says will give her a chance because there are so many people out there who do have experience and not having to teach people everything is nice I know and yes I should have worked at a library while working on my masters and no oral histories department doesn't count it doesn't doesn't get you the experience people are looking for. I've also applied for some positions at the UCH that the twins work at. Um, that's secretarial work. Because that might, that's at least a tiny bit more closely related to library work than driving pizzas is. It saves on gas money also and there aren't as crazy hours. So we'll see what happens with all of those. I guess I'm gonna call it at that for the week. Um, I hope everyone is having a great week. I will see you on Monday and then it will be March. Have a great week.